planning on Alistair to be your initial engage. My opinion on Maokai is that he's not a real engage. His ultimate is more of like a zoning tool rather than a reliable way to start a fight. You go from chill to kind of a rocky formula because BDS, even without level 6, want to contest this. Nuke is walking in and Niski now at level 6 as well, just trying to zone out. 50% HP. Sheo just looks at them menacingly. He can just... Ooh. Okay, he's just, he's just here. He's walking up. He just took it! <laughs> Nuke just got a kill on the back end. Rahel gets not. What? SK just let Sheo walk up. And just like that, the game is in disarray. What happened? My okay. mouth. This is not how you want to start. Maybe that's the problem. Three. It's the blue that is causing issues here because SK may be defeated by KC is where it started as Adam dodges away. It's a good little glacial opening, but you can see the electricity comes down. Two members now going to bring it on as Adam at least drops and SK get one, but Shao hovering again. The sapling to zone out and irrelevant doing Cassante things while Isma does survive. It's SK's over. Also getting nice damage using that Q. Yeah. Shouting on stage, oh, oh, oh. rocket. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, well, nice. That felt a lot stronger than it normally does at this time in the game. <laughs> Perhaps the pings, but uh, yeah, no cross map available. We're not gonna come anyway. Close to four grubs in this game, and Oi. the ulti to interrupt the back. Nicely done there from Ice, leveraging the ultras. Yeah, excuse me, thank you. Zeke's convergence also picked up by Isma as well, so it feels like SK a little bit more ready to fight as. Herald started off by them, and BDS are now coming in second fiddle. Did he get the push? TP in behind. Yeah, that TP behind is what I'm looking at. Cherry jumps on in, and he steals it again! Just walked up, bro loves going in for a quick take as Niski just dies at the back end. Irrelevant, isolated. SK in these team fights. They're like the John Travolta meme. What is happening? You could get exhausted. He has to flash away, and irrelevant to his credit, he's trying to make something work this game, but Adam cleans him up on the end. And no team got rolling with Rahel and Luan, but now it feels like it's starting to sputter and die as SK yep. tried desperately again to make a play into the top side, but LeBrav in position to cover. New could TP if he wants to, but I think BDS gonna I mean, Adam, great sidestep in the meantime though, and he's waiting for the slicing Maelstrom, pops it, but there won't be enough only to buy time. He shuts down, or rather Rahel gets it. LeBrov now isolated while Dragon goes down and he tries to buy time too, but with a Herald out, he's going to make an escape and <laughs> get on, on out of there. Go on, my son. And they're even going to try and dive bot. Niski gets zoned away. Labrov is on a magical journey, oh. but he ain't playing Bard. He navigates that wall too. But the tower aggro, the tower aggro, they ran out of minions. And oh so Irrelevant actually ends up getting killed by Labrov as well. Oh he brings God. it mid. They secure another and tower. It gets, it gets the charge back. Wait. He's going again! Oh <laughs> my goodness! It's a disaster! It's a complete disaster! Uh, Wait, he didn't do anything with Jaga. He actually just to rectify some of their issues, but uh, unfortunately they just haven't been able to. It has been that mid game where they struggle, but LeBron might struggle here as well. Yeah, he oh, might indeed. He pops the ulti. Nature's Grass comes out, but look at the angle on it as well. Cleanse has to be burned immediately. This turn is looking dangerous as Isma gives an excitement over to Ice and Range starts playing SK back away and LeBron is just... down. That's Baron for BDS. Look at Adam. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, I mean, a hero play from SK is what I'm looking at because Niski needs to get in there with a flash. Emperor's Divide. Health bar's going down, but you said it. Adam now spotted out on the ward, but his angle is just as Lebrov is also coming in. Now onto BDS. There's the knockup for Rahel and Luan. It's great, but Adam shocks him in awe again, but in the pitch. Oh, he's just trying to take the Baron. He eventually knocks it down. Fails his flash. And for SK. I mean, that's still as breadth of a line as you can get Swing in the game. Right? Yeah. They still find themselves at such a massive deficit. There is still a huge wallet diff, but a small Oi. corner of hope. Flash headbutt pulverized. Niski gets a wild growth, but flashes over the wall. The nature's grasp again zones them out. And look, they get a free target onto Isma. His team was locked in place. Irrelevant running for his life as the rest of SK are now getting collapsed on. And 
when we saw a fumble around Baron. BDS weren't going to give any more free skin over to SK. The rocket lines them up. Adam sends them out. And the zap threatens him through. A new bot lane from Korea. Ain't enough for Ice and LeBron, who've been doing it better since the start of the year. Ice cleans it up with Adam on the back end. And BDS ain't got time for this series anymore. A Proto Bell pop shot from Adam sets up Ice for the chase down. And as cool as Ice, BDS will finish finish out this series. It has been a stomp from BDS. And with one swift move, BDS to clean up the Nexus turret. The death timers are still too low, but it still feels like this game has got a, a stake through the coffin. Relevant was spotted. He's trying to find a flank, but who's collapsing on who? I mean, Lebrov is searching for him. Shao is going to find him first, and the rest of SK are going to have to come to the play because Irrelevant's got no way out, no way in, and Ice on the back end as well starts zoning them off. You can see, excuse me, this ain't a squishy Cassante. Nature's grasp for the rest of them. Nuke is going to take him down and Adam on the back end, pummels him into the ground. Getting excited is Ice as his man gets tagged off the back end and BDS, they're just taking free kills at this point. They see five bucks on the ground, they pick it up. Another 10, it keeps lining up. Their luck will continue to thrive as the TP in, the flash out for the culling. Rahela 1 HP gives the final nail in. SK, it's a disappointing end to the year. And as soon as they debut in season finals, their road is cut in an instant. But BDS are paving their way. Brick by brick by brick, BDS are returning to form. A commanding and dominant series from BDS. It felt like that they barely ever gave SK any room to breathe. Fantastic series from Sheo. Great play overall from the team in terms of their mid-game macro. And after falling short to Fnatic 0-3, having a confident series like this is going to be massive.